you know, when when you just plug the string here, if something is going on with the sound. You know, it's still uh, a little bit wild, and uh, it's yeah, the sound is working. And on those traditional Rio or Rosewood, somehow it's much more elegant, uh, I think, but a little bit more also. Uh, Mm, polite, hmm. you know, polite in the way that you don't expect unexpected. Here he is. Yeah. <laughs> so much about how it sounds in the concert hall. Yeah. You know why? Because um, I think that uh, the difference between uh, the quiet and the loud guitar is uh, so little that actually doesn't make a, any difference in a big concert hall. You amplify still, it yeah, anyways. It doesn't if, if the hall is big you have to amplify it. If not, then the, the human ear accommodates the sound to the volume. But the most important thing is if the player has fun with, you know, yeah, making course. phrases, shaping the the, the lines, uh, creating the sound, and this attracts my ears much more than just okay, I can hear it or I can not hear it. This is uh, it's very interesting because I find younger players always ask for the loudest guitar, mm -hmm. even with the uh, sound port. You know, with mm -hmm. goes straight to your mm -hmm. face and it's hurts your ears. But uh, the older players, when they get more mature. They like these guitars much more, the more traditional, lighter guitars. Because the sound I is. I think it's in every it's in every instrument. It's the same. Uh, the great greatest teachers, old masters, piano, cello, violin. They always repeated that the sensitivity for the sound comes as the last one. Hmm. You know, first you have uh, clever fingers, very fast fingers. You can. Uh, you can find expression, you can find some fantasy, whatever in the interpretation, but really the, the, the sensitivity for the sound comes uh, late. <laughs> 